Hi, I'm Aditya Venkat Raman, a fourth year chemical Engin engineering undergraduate at IIT Bombay. Uh, last year in summer 2019, I went to Heinrich Heine University in Düsseldorf for my uh, summer internship. Um, there, I worked on uh, a research project which was based on soft matter and biophysics. It had elements of microfluidics and um, also image processing where we uh, worked with microchannels and studied the motion of silica particles in the channel. Uh, so we did that using uh, bright feed microscopy and for the first one month we uh, spent learning my, uh, bright feed microscopy and then moved on to the actual experiments. Right? Uh, this was in Dusseldorf and Dusseldorf is in the state now that I in Westphalia and that is located in the western part of Germany which is very well connected to uh, countries like France, Belgium and the Netherlands. So that makes this that makes it just uh, very accessible to most of the most of western europe and also it's very well connected to most of germany as well so traveling was very easy for me and i ended up going to uh, most of the uh, well known places on the weekends because i used to work 5 days a week and on the weekends i actually planned trips when i got there and i went to paris i went to munich uh, amsterdam Berlin, Prague and a couple of other local places in within Germany. So the reason I like this experiment is that after I learned how to use the microscope and how to take the images and take good images and how to track the particles in the images, so which was a bunch of image processing and stuff. After that point, I think the end of May, I was pretty much given the ownership of the whole experiment as such. So it was up to me to design a procedure to use the microfluidic device in this particular um, which, which I'm using right now and also uh, the onus was on me to make it reproducible so that anyone who is using this particular procedure in the future is able to do the same experiment that I'm done, I've done right now so as we can see this this particle it's currently out of focus but it's stopped drifting to one side and it's diffuse, like it's performing random walks and basically Brownian motion in one part of the microchannel. Now, we take this and put it inside here in the center, and then we see how it moves. So, and the goal is to find the time it takes for it to escape through here. So that's that's the mean field passage time, the time it takes to diffuse from the center. To this escape window which is yeah there so what you see here is the feed from the camera from the microscope and it's recording at 15 FPS which is written pretty much there and the goal of this of recording this is basically to get the trajectory of the particle that you see in the in the big cavity on the on this particular area and the green dots are the particle traps and so this software is uh, called LabVIEW and why we use this is because you can connect the CPU to that particular machine that you see there which operates the laser uh, which in turn uh, helps you trap the particles and move them inside this particular channel so I trapped one of them and I put them inside I could put it inside and now I wait for it to come outside and the time it takes for it to 
come outside of the cavity is called the time of escape and that is what I need to measure in this particular experiment. Stay in, uh, in our student accommodation given by the institute called Student and Work Düsseldorf and uh, in that we have uh, a single room with an attached bath but we have a common kitchen. So about 15 rooms on a floor is allotted to each uh, of these dorms and we have uh, people from all walks of life coming there. Uh, some people would be doing their master's thesis, some people would be working in architecture, design and some people even work on research on grasshoppers. So pretty much, yeah, pretty much a well mixed and um, like a diverse set of people there from different nationalities. And what we used to do was after work, we used to gather in the kitchen area, cook our food and maybe watch football and hang out and just talk. And in general, Dusseldorf has a lot of very interesting places and a lot of good hangout places and a lot of good people in general. And I would re definitely recommend, 10 on 10 would recommend Dusseldorf as a place to do your internship.